Yo, we're back. Let's get into it. We're in prison. We're gonna die. You're gonna die? Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? I think coffee would be great. How about beer? Coffee would be great. Thanks. I mean, he's been nothing but nice to us. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Pike, why am I here? And don't lie to me. The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Hmm. Did you steal this USB drive or not? Uh-oh. -uh. At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. Uh-oh. I have evidence. Order from who? The order came down today from who? <gasps> High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job to know. Oh, God. Well, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. Yeah. I can't work with that. Yeah, that's not really good uh, evidence. I get the point. Shouldn't matter. Um. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. <laughs> That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. What are we gonna do? No way, fuck Diane. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. Hmm. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Ooh. Why did why did Dio doesn't this mean she's guilty? Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. Mm. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here.
Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No, it's not Whoa. an option. Oh, oh my god. Here we go. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? As your brother Gabriel Chan died is in an accident related to Typhoon Mining Blast. And so shall not subject has a high level of determination, if effect, efficiency, negative affection, negative uh, affect, act, uh, <clears throat> has persistent beyond pre predicted. A uh, prememorable period of the also appears to have possession of coverage of the provision threat one. Immediate action required. What is this? I mean, oh, they have a private investigator on this. I uh, began following the subject after meeting with Mac London. Subject met with the man identified as Ryan Lucan. Uh, so the subject spent three hours in the apartment. Wi Fi screen monitoring revealed searches into Typhon's history. Look at subject met with this fucking client, Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen an object from the client. Uh, Lucan and Ryan. Oh, the dude? Close friend Gabe Roger had that in. Uh, this is Augustine with her efforts. Again, Stephen involved in an extremely distraught over accident subject has high level of knowledge of both geographic uh, and residents of Haven. Also, they were watching all of us. Uh, Steph Stephanie? Steph? Close friend Gabriel died in an accident related to Stephen Money Blast. Uh, assisting in action in her efforts that has proven resourceful and dangerous. Threat 2. Immediate action recommended. Damn. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I don't know. I thought I could get justice. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Damn. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. I wonder if we could... Pike is terrified of Typhon. Take... I bet if I took his fear yeah. away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along we with mine? We got it. It's fine. We're taking Pike's fear sign. No, we're taking the fear. Fuck it. I feel like if we sign it, that's somewhat going to fuck us over. Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just keep your head down. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Yeah, damn. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Have courage for Gabe. Yeah, we're gonna do it for Gabe. 
if not for me, then that's for the best Gabe. way to do it. Since we're Please. actually friends. Fuck. I'll think about it. Let's go, Pike. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex. Be careful. Yeah, we got it. We got it. This is going to be easy. Easy dubs. Easy dubs here. Here and around. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, wearing headphones for this long is kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Should probably get some like good earbuds. Uh, Alex, come see me when you get the chance. pictures how long have they been watching us and what will they do if oh shit now we're affected <sighs> oh god I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Yeah. First, I need to get out of this dress. <laughs> it was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream. Okay. This isn't Here, hurry up, hurry up and finish your I shift, promise. love, share. Or Charlotte, I'm in. Oh. Looks like I'm on my own now. I don't want to drag Ryan and Steph in any deeper. Riley probably can't help me hack Typhon. What are we going to do here? Oh my god. A duck a ducks. I had no idea what I was getting into, did I? Buried secrets, evil mining corporations, death threats. I didn't realize how awful it would all be. <clears throat> Our thing. Okay, let's go. I guess the night wasn't all bad. <clears throat> oh, new trip. Might as well go talk to Jed now. What do you want? Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> okay, I think this might be the last thing. To I look think at. I'm all played out for tonight. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go talk to you, Jen. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. 
You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. Hmm. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But okay. first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Take a shot. Typhoon kill game. I've been chasing proof that Typhon was responsible for Gabe's death. And I found out they buried something. A secret. Now oh. they're threatening me. And Steph. And Ryan. Threatened? How? Pike showed me photos. Typhon's been watching us. I'm not giving up, Jed. Not ever. Hmm. I know what they're hiding. Hmm? Wait. You're telling me you knew that Typhon's crooked? This whole time? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. Brother's darting his I've fucking eyes. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. Uh-oh. No boy, no. I would die there, up ahead. And if only copyright wasn't a thing, dude. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Uh oh. What's going on? Chad. Why are you sad? Oh shit, here we go. Oh, he has the boogie. I'm sorry, kid. Put the gun down. What's happening? Okay. Just put the gun down. I tried to talk you out of it scare you off I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the mm. trick but you were relentless won't leave damn well enough alone you don't have to do this I do 12 years ago I made a mistake the kind of thing that you you can't undo now oh God but Typhon made me a deal a way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. <laughs> oh my god. That is crazy, dude.
Yo, that is crazy. Oh. Hey, we did it. Let's go. Side B, chapter five. Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? What do you mean, welcome back? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? Uh, nothing in the meaning of home. I was pretty afraid of my... Yeah. I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. Might have been wrong? What are you talking about? <laughs> I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. Hey, yo, shaboing. But Alex, you're right back where you started. I know you're wrong. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What? Oh, God. There has something wrong with us? What the fuck? Any emotions in here? I guess that's me. Case number five three three two two. Five three three two two. Okay. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Do you? Do you really? Come on now. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. What would our... A tuning peg. Who would our doctor have that? In light of the recent excitement, now is a good time to remind Helping Hands residents the impulse to leave our institution while understandable or best resisted reminder the outside world is sharp tooth and possibly possessed of unstable hunger and you are soft and slow and appetizing. Why throw yourself into the mouse? Throw yourself inside into mine. Hey, yo. Please try me. How did I even get back here? Please join me in welcoming Alex Shim back. Helping hands were having the surprise that Alex once more submitted herself to his stuff line. Uh, okay. One missing patient answers to Alex. She was always scratching at the door trying to get out, but she declawed. But she's declawed. 
So her capacity to fend uh, for herself is minimal. If spotted, please exercise caution. When approaching, she will appear friendly and normal, but we've had some behavior issues in the past. Please help me find my patient. I'm starting to get worried. Whoa. Things are getting spicy. Is that what I look like? Really? <laughs> hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Um, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. Fuck, I already forgot. Five three three two two. Please do it. Please do it by self. Fuck. Five, three, three, two, two. Is it? Is it? Oh, I got it. <laughs> w brain. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, okay. A tab, I think. This is what it's called. EMP fucking out. Did the bullet just graze our right hand? Uh. God, these things are like fucking EMPs, dude. Psst. Alex. Gabe? <gasps> <laughs> what the fuck? Attitude. You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say 
a hospital. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. Fucked up, dude. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. What? What am I supposed to do? What did I miss? Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Wait. Did I miss something? Um, water? No matter how much mom drank. Her throat was always dry. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Okay. talk about how many nights did dad spend in this room sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners there's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry hmm okay we got painting 
We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Okay. At least we got some progress. Luckily, we saw it right here. Um. Okay. never cried even when you were very small did you know that that's been my biggest challenge with you how do you take care of someone who is already so strong mm. her mom is spitting Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. <laughs> Will you do that, Alex? Mm, so that's why she's like that. girl how do you ever get so brave okay. it's fucking sun <laughs> What is this, like our home? Okay. Regular. Oh, nothing crazy. Was that the last time you talked to her? 
Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Oh. Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. That's the, like, domestic stuff? This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. That's a very yuck situation. There was only ever one thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out. I listen like to like what's on the screen right now like that style of a uh, music right there just me but you know that's not how it went down right hmm. It was my job to keep the peace, but no matter what I did, I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. Yeah. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Ashtray, cookie, okay. All the bills? My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. Wow. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. Almost empty. Almost always. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. Gabe and Dad were so loud when they fought. Okay. Where are you going? Are you going to tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine. 
I'll do it. Alex, dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. We can sell some records. Or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, oh God. what is it gonna take so to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really. I'm not hurt. <laughs> Hmm. I can't do this. Dad? Oh, God. Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. Dad! Oh, God. Yeah, that was, uh, that was very uncomfortable. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. Mm. I was. I have. And now I'm done. It's very hard. Almost. Coming but to terms. Yet. What stuff? You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe... Come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, must see rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. Jesus Christ, dude. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Oh, God. Play my part. 
Anything here? No. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Magic hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. God. They put me on so many meds. Wow. Uh Are Parazzo? Air Parazzo? Air Parazzo? Oh my god, that's so much. Wow, that's a lot. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe. Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. <laughs> they should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Do you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? Hmm. Guess I missed a few days. How are you holding up, Shu? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Yikes. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Damn. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. <laughs> Hence, stupid. Oof. Well, They're so rough. there are my strings. Where's my guitar? I remember the kid who put this here. You're never getting out of Sadie. this fucking place. Sally. Um, uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kinda think you already know the answer to that question. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Alright, that's everything. Oh god, that's so weird. She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. Why are you mad? It says here she's sensitive. What is that? found a home before Oof. oh she might for that maybe is Alex's feelings I'm sure she's a sweet girl but she's not for us she's awfully old isn't she mm. this is the kid that's been in all those fights right <laughs> I want to help I I really do <laughs> There's just something off. broken. Damn. With her. <laughs> Oof, that's rough. I'm 
sorry. Why? Hmm. You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us... You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Hmm. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. Hmm. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. Exactly. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Damn. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. That's the most uncomfortable I've ever felt in the game. Here we go. I've got to find a way out of here. Oh. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. A dead rat. Mines growing into mines. Just like Jed said. Yikes. I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. How long has this stuff been down here? Thank <laughs> you. 
no, 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 come on, no, 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 yeah. okay, dude. Here we go. That aura is the only lead I've got. All right, boys, getting close. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. Mm. We finish the job. Jed was Steady the one that goes. To do it. Steady. Fuck was. Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my God. We gotta move! Now! Damn, that's fucking rough. There's still men back there! They'll drown! So will we if we don't get the fuck out! Make the call, Jed! God damn it! God damn it! Everyone, let's go! Now! <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. The truth is going to come out. Oof. They know I'm the strongest. Jed! Come oh. back! Jed, you son of a bitch! Jed, you got to stop, man. Jed! Fuck you, Chen! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I so fucked up. See what are we gonna do? Are we gonna expose them? Or what's the deal?
be all closed for council meeting. And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer Holy by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its we future. We're gonna explode the lid. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. <laughs> Here we go. Not that easy to get rid of. Alex, oh my God. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Gonna be gay. This will be hard to hear. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. <sighs> And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? You know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. Oh, shit. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. Jeffrey. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Oof. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I'm embarrassed they didn't ask you. I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. Uh -oh. You've been through so much. 
Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. I know you have a constant issue, Spurs. Oh. Let's go back You know there's proof of the cover up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. Oh, I God. don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. Oh, I thought... God. I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. You're lying, you're a monster. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Let's go. Of course I do. Oh, yeah. First one. I would like to speak. Ah, oh, here we go. I've known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. But nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. Okay, dude. Holy shit, boing. Ducky, that's enough. Don't let him make you feel bad, sweetheart. Okay. No one here thinks you're a bad person. You know... Our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But struggling alone... No. You shouldn't have to go through that. We're all worried about you let us help you hmm. charlotte no leave me alone i don't want any more of this <gasps> they killed gabe what are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? <laughs> I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. I sure enough helped her. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Really? I only got one person. Don't worry, Alex. Let's go. This. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Dude, he better he better help me, man. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your he game. Better I know Don't it. Don't test me, me, Jason. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from- Oh, cut the crap. If you think you could- Oh no, me. he's not gonna help me. <laughs> I think I only got one vote. It concerns me that- You believe me? Please back me up. has openly admitted to a personal bias. You believe me? Please back me up. I don't believe it. ridiculous. Uh, what's the right one? Fuck it. Ryan, I'm not your dog anymore. you back up what I'm saying? Please. Why are you doing this? Oh, God. My dad is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not going to let you do that to me. I mean, it is Ryan. His dad. What the hell? Oh. I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan! <laughs> After everything? Oh, God. Seriously, fuck you! Stop. Damn, no one fucked with me. <laughs> oh, God. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. Come on, Alex. His name was John. He was a screw up. He was a fighter. He was the victim. No, he was a he was a screw up. He made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, he was a screw up. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better, but you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family. He was happy. He was starting over. Oof. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. He literally gave us a whole ass... But he died. Uh, apartment? House? Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. They even changed me. I started to think about Please. the future. <laughs> Please, I want to belong. I want to help people. I want to play music. I feel like she she wants to belong. That's like her her main thing. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without. Especially me. coming out of the orphanage. I was starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have <laughs> okay. ended my life. All right. Just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Jesus. You've forgotten it. Haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. That you're a good man, that you're a hero. I mean, statues, signs. Yeah, let's go that. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? You're upon your selfish, you're a coward. <gasps> Let's be straight up. Boom. Eleven years ago, you led a group Step of men bike, to their no deaths. one else. <laughs> and you couldn't even say those words out loud. I helped everyone, and no one helped me. Because you're a coward. Besides Stefan, uh, like you couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. Come on. I can feel you trying to pull away. Break, please. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're going to break. But when you come out the other side mm, and you're so. whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. <gasps> What's going on? What's happening? I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Come on, we need to, we need to do... And I condemn you, but I forgive you. Look, he's trembling. And I forgive you. Yes! Let's go! Bitch! <laughs> yeah, fuck this town. <laughs> No, that's me. Fuck the sound. I want everyone to fucking apologize. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful <coughs> confession to covering up the deaths of seven yes. Typhon employees Let's and their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, Oh, I can't wait to last month. Look at my Mr. messages. Is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Holy shit, fucking aim is A1. 
Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see. After what do we got? all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Oh my god, my fucking shit is popping. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. Oh god, that fucking gnome is here. Okay, okay. Uh, hey, Heaven, the regular trader is currently accepting application. Priority will be shown. Uh, okay. Do Charlotte. I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Hello, friends. I've decided to open back up to commissions. I think we're all looking for a way to stay busy. Making a... Uh, okay. I've got some continued support for you. We have money. money. would like to express our gratitude toward Haven Springs. For your continued support, we have issued a statement, which is a okay. Uh, company the talk. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. These are recent events. The Black Lantern will remain closed uh, to regular business until further notice. It never ends. The statement regarding the ongoing investigation. We appreciate the community's concern. Details are still emerging. Hmm. Okay. What is this? Oh my gosh, she did. Where, 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 where's my text messages? <laughs> oh, everyone to fucking blow my line. Um, on my way, staff, Ryan. Alex, please pick up. Just uh, let us know you're okay as soon as you can. I'm pretty sure you just lost your phone, but Ryan's freaking out. Okay, uh, we're both freaking out. We just want to make sure you're safe. Call us. Alex? Okay, so I'm assuming that was before all that happened. How did you learn that your father lived in Heaven Springs and worked for Jed? How did it feel to learn? What is it, like a reporter? Got off my line. Ethan. Is your mom okay? I'm worried about her. She's fine. I think it's uh, my turn to take care of her now, but uh, maybe that's weird, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Let's see. Uh, LOL, you were right. You needed me, the one woman. I should have believed you above everyone I felt. Char, it's okay. Just take care of yourself and Ethan. Charlotte? Fuck out of my line. <laughs> Can't believe she didn't back, back me up. lost for words? Dear Amazing. Alex. Dear Alex, I'm terribly sorry. I don't know what else to say. Ducky, get out of my line. Uh, hey, Jen, didn't know you'd actually take down Typhon. You're braver than I ever imagined. Yeah, now you owe me a job. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. <laughs> Alex, I'm sorry. My dad was a hero. That's what everyone said for years, and it took so many lies to hold that up. Disgusting, terrible lies. Life and lied, dad lied, but worst of all, I lied to myself. Even when the truth was right in front of my eyes, I believe him over you. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, and I hope one day you'll forgive me. Get on my line. <laughs> Oh, my true love. Uh, of course, how could I not after everything? Thanks for having my back. It meant so much. Yeah, that, that, dude, that says a lot, especially where everyone's disagreeing, but you agree. Oh my god. Wifey for life. If you took Char's anger, she won't support. Really? Oh my god, that was fucking helping her. Who's Jessica? Got on my line. Oh. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chan? John, and no. But I. I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. Mm. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Damn. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Damn. Eleanor won't either if you didn't tell her and Gabe uh, about Gabe's wig. Huh. Well, hey, all that matters to me is that the truth got out. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. <laughs> Before you say anything, Here we go. I have to get this out. Okay. 
What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, I can't, I can't. And it made me want to be brave too. Oh. oh. So, here it goes. Oh. I want to be with you. Oh my god. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. <sighs> and if you'd rather stay here instead, then... No, no. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, what? Fuck it. <laughs> Why would you do that? I want to stay here too. I don't want to stay here. Fuck that. Your ticket. That was amazing. Um. I fuck it. You ripped your bus Dude, I can't, ticket. I can't wait to I play can the DLC. Or not. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm in. For whatever you want. Alex and Steph sitting in a tree. K-I-S says, I am tree first come slow. <laughs> Little Mary go. You've, uh, given dope. me a lot to think about. <laughs> you seem dope. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Yeah, if there's an option to leave, I'm out of here. Fuck Good luck, that. Jen. Thanks, Steph. There will be later. Okay. All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road. The excitement of the unknown. Yeah, I mean, life would have been so different if... Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> yeah, before that. If all that didn't happen... Come on. You're the know-it-all. It probably would have been a dope-ass life. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't want to be here. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, and despite what happened at the vote, people that actually care about you. Mm. Why would you give that up? That's true. I mean, for me, the main thing is that Alex, she doesn't really have, um, <laughs> like, plans. Besides stuff. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young. You suddenly have a little money. Because their whole goal was to... Uh, and don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely To find out what happened and then... Oh, we did it. Off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. Oh. I'm sorry. I know. Oh, God. <laughs> You're gonna make me. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. I feel like uh, regret is going to be huge if we're looking deep into the relationship. Life goes on. Especially for stuff. Huh. You never know. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All right. <laughs> All those years of being a music snob finally pay off.
and little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum. Or Charlotte. And more like a home. Where is she? <laughs> is she going to apologize to me here? Oh, I think she did it through text. Oh, never mind. So we love. Thoughts of Jed. Of Typhon. Even yeah, of like me. <laughs> begin to fade into the background. How didn't people pick up on that? The tokens thing. Employee tokens. <gasps> Where's Mac? <laughs> um, Mac? Oh my god. Whoa, okay. I wonder, like, that, that's actually not a bad life. The what? rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more hmm. people in more cities? Sharing your music with the world? No, that was another dude. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. Yeah, you I don't know exactly when it happens. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Like I said, that's the, that's not a bad life, but Thank you. I Don't like an adventure. It. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Hmm. Do what? Go where? Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise... Is the adventure. Oh yeah, dude. That's what I want. Just an adventure. So? What do you think? Stay in Haven or seek... Yeah, seek adventure. I'm out of here. <laughs> this is... Yeah, I'm out. I know what I want. I don't even have to think about it. I'm oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking sad. Oh my god, fuck it. I mean, you know, this is dad. What else can he do? He 
is what it is. Love that sticker. <laughs> Let's go. The two people that back me up. Please give us a cutscene. Please don't end it like that. <gasps> Let's go. Let's see. Actually, you're incredible. I'm here for you no matter what. Call me the minute you need anything. I know. Thank you for having my back. It's, it meant so much, of course. How could I not after everything? Fuck him up, baby. Oh, I got a big ass crow. Those nurse stuff. That's a fucking gnome. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. Hey, let's go. Is that it? Oh, my God. Uh, Alex hit the road. Oh, we got the, or I got the minority one. Alex denounced Jed for his actions. Okay, okay, okay. Charlotte sided with Alex during. Charlotte believed Alex, but couldn't help. Oh, the the affidavit, affidavit, that shit. All right. Is that right? <laughs> 